We'll guide you through how to disable the integrated graphics card. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So I'll be guiding you through this step by step, and I'll also be explaining some other things you could do, as sometimes doing this doesn't always go and solve the problem that you're potentially trying to solve. So to get started, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search, and you want to go and type in device manager, just like so. You then go and get this pop up, and you need to go and find the section for display adapters and go to the left and click on the arrow to go and expand it. In here, I can go and see my integrated graphics. In my case, it's my AMD Radeon graphics card. In my case, it's the AMD Radeon graphics as these are built into my processor. So what I want to do is go and disable it. So I could right click on it and click on disable device. That will go and disable it, but that can go and cause problems. And you may go and get a black screen if you're currently using it. So you don't actually have to go and fully disable it if you just want to go and start using your dedicated GPU. In my case, I've got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX. But if you want to go and start using your dedicated card, then first of all, if you're using a desktop computer, make sure that the cable which connects your monitor is plugged into the dedicated GPU and not to your motherboard. Make sure that you've done that. Next, if you're using a laptop, this applies as well. Open up a web browser and go and get your graphics card drivers. In my case, I've got an NVIDIA card, so I've searched for NVIDIA drivers. We can come to the site, we can go and get them automatically with this tops option or manually go and search for them, download them and then install them. And then what we can do is we can go and open up the drivers. So I can go and come and click on search and type in NVIDIA control panel. And what you can then do is come over to the left and we can click on manage 3D settings, come into global settings. And in most cases, specifically on laptops, you're going to go and have the option for your preferred card. And what you can go and do is go and choose your graphics card. And then apps and programs will start using it and not your integrated graphics card. And what you can also do as well as this is you can come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and go and type in graphic settings as well. And what you can then do is go and find different apps here. For example, Minecraft, I can click on, then click on options. And what I can do is go and choose my dedicated GPU, which is this one here. So there are some alternative options to just going and disabling your integrated graphics, as that won't always go and solve the problem that you're trying to solve.